This question, are we alone? Is anybody out there? The field is called SETI, which is an acronym, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. And the big idea in SETI is that we do things, sending off radio and television and radar signals out into space. Maybe ET does that too. Tabby star is a star that was identified by the Kepler spacecraft. It's basically a very weird star. It's a very strange star. What this star showed is something very, very large and, and very, very dark uh, appeared to be passing between us uh, and the star. It's not a planet because we know that it's not round and it, it doesn't orbit at a fixed period. One crazy wild speculation is maybe, maybe this dimming of the star comes from something that ET is doing. One idea that, that has been suggested is that what we're seeing is actually some very, very large structure that has been built by an advanced civilization. These are called Dyson structures or Dyson spheres to collect large amounts of energy from the star. I don't think it's true, you know, one in a billion chance. Nevertheless, we've got this spectacular listen instrumentation that's going to enable a very sensitive, broad search of Tabby Star. The Breakthrough Listen program here at Berkeley has access to the largest telescopes on the planet, the most powerful SETI equipment on the, on the planet. So we can look at, at Tabby Star with greater sensitivity and at, for a wider range of signal types than any other experiment in the world. The Green Bank Telescope is the largest fully steerable radio telescope on the planet. We've deployed a fantastic new SETI instrument that connects to that telescope. We can look at many, many different billions of radio channels all at the same time. If there is technology around that star, we have the best odds of finding it with the Green Bank Telescope. We collect many hundreds of gigabytes a day of data. So it's a lot of data to process. It's possible that the telescope position there is just enough. So if we do find a signal that may be interesting, there's no way we can actually singularly confirm here at Berkeley that that's aliens. Science and public at that point, other scientists will get involved. If we can confirm that's an actual signal, that's when we start writing papers and collecting Nobel Prizes. <laughs> I'm optimistic about life in the galaxy. There are a trillion planets in our Milky Way galaxy. That's more planets than there are stars. And lots of those planets are good places for life. It would be bizarre if we're the only ones. So there's no doubt that we'll learn something interesting about Tabby Star over the course of, of looking at it. And maybe what we'll learn would be the, the most interesting thing possible.